Your browser is probably slowing you down way more than you think. I mean, I just opened 200 tabs in this new browser, and it didn't crash, not even a tiny lag. Chrome, Edge, Safari? They start crying at 30 tabs. But that's not even the wild part. This browser just summarized a two-hour video in 10 seconds, wrote my email responses, organized my research automatically, and even remembered my travel plans. And no, this isn't some shady extension you install from a random website. This is Norton Neo, the first safe AI native browser that helps before you even ask. A new browser from Gen Digital, the company behind Norton Avist and LifeLock. And as of today, Neo is opening up to the public, which means you can download and use it right now. Honestly, it's about to change your workflow in 2026. In this video, I'm testing its most powerful features and why this is the only AI browser you can actually trust. All right, setting up Neo takes just two minutes. Download it from the link below and it imports everything from Chrome, passwords, bookmarks, extensions. Pick your theme and you're done. It's completely free for everyone on both Windows and Mac. And yes, your Chrome extensions still work. All right, first feature, the magic box and no, this is not a regular search bar. It handles search queries, commands, and chat style prompts. Watch this, I type. Who are the 10 leading AI companies right now? And instead of just showing me links like Google, Neo gives me an actual answer right there. Like I'm talking to chat GPT, but it's built into my browser. But here's the kicker. If I want regular search results, one button, boom, Google opens. So I get the best of both worlds. Now here's where your jaw's about to drop. I'm reading an AI research article. I click the address bar. Neo says, want me to summarize this page? One click, full summary in the sidebar, no copy pasting. No reading 3,000 words. At the bottom, a chat box. Ask anything about the page. I tried, what are the main criticisms of this research? Instant answer with references. But wait, before I even click a link, let me show you something wild. I'm hovering over this article link and Neo instantly shows me a preview and summary. I can see if it's credible, get the key points, and decide if it's worth my time, all without opening it. This peek and summarize feature completely transforms how you browse. No more clicking into 10 different articles just to find the one you need. But wait, that's not even the most useful feature. You know when someone sends you a 45 minute YouTube video and says, watch this, it's really good. And you're thinking, I don't have 45 minutes. Neo fixes that. Before you even press play, it gives you a full summary of the video. I tested this on a 20 minute tech review. Within seconds, key points, product specs, pros and cons, final verdict. I knew if the video was worth watching before I wasted a single minute. Now imagine doing that for every video, every tutorial, every webinar. But here's where it gets really insane. Neo connects to Gmail. And when you open one of those long, messy email threads, you know, half the people didn't read the previous messages, total chaos, Neo reads the whole thing and gives you the key points. What people actually decided, what you need to do, and then wait for it. It drafts a reply for you. And this isn't just for email. Neo's typing assistant works everywhere you type, comments, posts, messages. It enhances your tone and clarity while keeping your unique voice intact. You tweak it, hit send, done, all without leaving your browser. I tested this yesterday with a client email. What usually takes me 15 minutes took two. How much time would that save you every single day? Seriously, add it up. Now here's something no other browser does. I can tell Neo, Remember, I'm planning a trip to Europe in June. Neo will use that context when I browse travel sites or search for flights. And I can see it all in settings, memories, edit it, delete it, add more. This is configurable memory, not hidden tracking. Everything is visible and fully under your control. Now, I mentioned I opened 200 tabs earlier. Let me show you what happened. But first, there's one more feature that completely changes how you stay organized. Here's a scenario. You're researching a vacation. You've got flights in one tab, hotels in another, restaurant recommendations, blog posts about things to do, travel insurance. Normally, that's like 15 random tabs you have to mentally organize. Neo does it automatically. I opened a bunch of random stuff, tech articles, shopping sites, YouTube videos, PDFs, work documents. Neo sorted them into categories by itself. I didn't touch anything. Your history works the same way. Instead of scrolling through hundreds of random links, everything's organized by topic and date. It's like having a personal assistant who cleans up after you constantly. All right, remember those 255 tabs I mentioned? 
In Chrome, 30 tabs slow things down, 50 tabs make your fan spin, and 70 total crash. In Neo, I opened 200 tabs and asked, how are you handling this? It responded instantly, no lag, no freezes. I even opened more tabs and it still worked perfectly. For context, Chrome uses eight gigabytes of RAM with 30 tabs. Neo, much more efficient. Your laptop will thank you. Neo also has a built-in AI image generator. I asked, make an image of a shark and got an instant image saved to a gallery, and it's cool to have when you need quick visuals for a presentation or project. And the real test. Now I know what you're thinking. Does Neo have privacy concerns? While most AI browsers collect your data, Neo keeps everything local. Our chats, your history, stored on your device, not the cloud, your data stays yours, and because it's built by Norton, you get Norton WebShield built in. This web shield turns Neo into a protected AI browser, blocking malicious sites, phishing pages, and even AI-generated scams before you click. It can even spot phishing emails in your inbox. Honestly, don't just take my word for it, do your own research. Neo is opening up to the public today, so download it using the link in the description. It's free for everyone. I'd love to know what problems it solves for you, so drop your experience in the comments.